Oh, it lived. Flinch. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, Poké Sports. Welcome to another VGC Bounce Today Regulation E video, bringing you an old Greg team. We got the Brute Bonnet back on the channel. One of my favorite Pokemon this generation. Haven't used it in so dang long, mostly because we got way too many new grass type Pokemon to play with that a lot of people forgot about Brute Bonnet in general. And I saw this Brute Bonnet team on Twitter, and I was like, I gotta play it. You don't see Brute Bonnet every day. And this team doing pretty well on the ranked ladder with a Spore, Bullet Seed, Sucker Punch, Rage Powder, Boost or Energy Boosted, Brute Bonnet. That that got my attention, I'll be honest. Now this is kind of a pseudo Trick Room team, kind of a not Trick Room team. It does kind of work in both fashions. Has very fast Pokemon like the Chen Pao, like the Ogre Pond, and like the Chiyu and Flutterbane, but also has a secondary option to set Trick Room, get the Brute Bonnet on the field, get the Torque on the field, and ju then just erupt spam. Not only that, you have double Protosynthesis mods on this team, so it's never a bad idea to bring Torkoal just to set the sun up and just to boost the Bonnet and boost the Fluttermane uh, from then on out. And also, Chiyu Fluttermane as a combination is, is incredible as well. The Chen Pao has never Melt Ice. I was a little sussed out by that until I realized that the, light, that the Life Orb and the Focus Sash are both taken by Chiyu and Fluttermane, so Chen Pao really has no other option there than to carry a never Melt Ice for the Icicle Crash boosted damage. We'll see if it does anything today. Anyway, if you guys are excited to see what the heck Brute Bonnet's about to do on the ladder, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Poke Sports if you haven't done already. Also, thank you so much, INFP underscore Poke on Twitter for posting this team there. It looks like an absolute blast, and I'm excited to try it out. Let's see how many wins we can grab today. And with that said, let's get on through today's video. What a team. Okay, clearly win, win rider stuff, right? Clearly. And I'm terrified, like low-key, this could be very, very bad for us. I mean, old Greg save us, please. I do have fire tear on old Greg, so it could be a pretty decent situation, especially if they decide to lead with, you know, Explody Man, turn one. I think I definitely said Trick Room though. This grass tear doesn't help me. Uh, yeah, it's a Trick Room game for sure. It's just a matter of how do I set it up? Where do I bring it? Tell you what, we go Flutter, we go Old Greg in the lead. We have the redirection. We'll bring the Torkoal in the back. Oh, that's Rocky Helmet, okay. But it's still like Eruption Spammy. Max special attack, so that's still cool. And last but not least, we've got to find a Pokemon that can deal with all the Pokemon that we can't deal with right now. That one. The late game Leopard. Never Melt Ice. Chen Pao. Uh, first time I'm using Never Melt Ice on Chen Pao, but I, I do get the idea behind it and thought process, uh, thought process behind it. The other thing to consider is that every other item that Chen Pao would normally want is taken already on this team. So if we do want to run the Chen Pao, we have to run it with Never Melt Ice. This is okay. I think. Yeah, it should be okay. We've got a defense boost here, which is always nice with the booster energy. I think I'm going to Grass Terra and just go for the Trick Room. And I don't think there's much they can even do about that, honestly. I don't really have to go for Rage Powder. I could just hit the Spore. Actually, I could just Heart Swap here, right? I'm going to lose my defense, but it might not matter in the end. Yeah, let's just get the Torkoal on the field. See if we could pressure our opponent a little bit. This Grass Terra should at least catch them a little off guard. Alright, Speed Heightened on the Flutter. Not that I want that, but hey, I can always use that later on. Trick Room is the game plan. Time for some best of one Trick Room stuff. Welcome Fluttermain to the party. Fluttermain, the world's greatest Trick Room setter, folks. They set Tailwind, they're getting the Wind Rider up, so no matter what happens here, Trick Room will go up. Knock off onto the Flutter, 1 HP. We hang on, Focus Sash save us. And we Trick Room. Now the issue is, I kind of wasted Terra there, which is sad, but it is what it is. I'm going to take the opportunity to Hard Swap back. 
into my my old Greg. I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> That's all I got. We explode. It's time. My opponent wants to deal with this. We'll let we'll see them try. Now they're probably also just sashed on their Windrider friend. So my Torkoal might be just taking a lot of damage, but if they do actually touch the Torkoal with the Rocky Helmet, they will be going down as well. All right, Flutter's coming out. Sending back in old Gray. Get my defense best. It's like, I, it's like I never lost it. That's fine. A protect is actually ideal for me. Are they gonna try to encore me? They're T-waving my Torkoal. Making me even faster. I mean, they're just introducing hacks to the game. Doesn't matter. Cool. We still blow up. All right. Illumise going down. We we did it. We, we knocked out Illumise so far. Uh, question is, what do they got left? I wish I had Brubonnet on the field that last turn. I could have redirected into a dark type and then... It would have never happened. The the thunder wave that is. Axantor. Oh, Scizor. Or excuse me. Um, the other guy. Cleavor. Yeah, you're going to bed now. And I'm gonna blow up. That is my game plan for the rest of today. Go to bed, blow up. Blow up, go to bed. Back and forth. Hopefully I don't like para here that'd be nice too because if i do get parried that might suck the good news is okay cool i'm not parried i think this might just knock out cleavor too yeah it does oh oh this sucks a little bit because now the spore it don't work Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Oh, well. It's fine. I, I, mean, I didn't mean to do that. It kind of makes me look a little stupid, but... Okay, sir. That's one way to do damage. Well, good news is, um, still got two turns in Trick Room, so, so we Spore, <laughs> and then we Heat Wave instead. No way, you're Grass Terror too, dude. No way. <laughs> okay, good fairy. <laughs> I was about no. I'm not. I'm like one of the few on the ladder. Don't be the one. That I'm facing right now. E wave connects. Gonna do about half. Here's a spore. Better luck next turn. Spore just a lock in. Lock in the game there. Oh, I forgot how much I love group on it, dude. I low key might start using this Pokemon again. It's so fun. Alright, Bullet, Bullet Seed. Uh, Heat Wave. That's a GG. Heat wave. I didn't get paired once this game. Torkoal working overtime and taking a dub. Nice and commanding little victory there. Listen, I, I will go with that. I will run with that. GG's, honey. Amazing. Okay. We got to see a little bit of a trick room action, and Rube Bonnet did pretty good right there in the beginning. Not bad. I found a trick room harder than my trick room. This is not great. Um, but I think we have options against it. A Lily Cole lead from them would be what spells disaster for us. But we are sashed. I could also lead redirection with Cornerstone Ogre Pod and have that be an option for us as well. But I think I'm going to go Chiyu Flutter to start. Bring Ogre Pod in the back. And last but not least. I don't know, man. This is a rough battle.
Ooh, you know what could be pretty good for us is maybe an Ogre Pawn plus Chiyu lead. That kind of covers us for all, all avenues here. We'll leave the Flutter behind and bring Torkoal and and Greg in the back. Just in case they are still able to get Trick Room up, we don't want to not play in it. We want to bring our slowest guys to the front line here and try to knock them out. All right, they do just go in DD Armors. This is kind of what I expected. And it's kind of what I covered for. I pretty much forced a tear out of one of them. I just don't know which one. I could have also Trick Room the Trick Room with Flutter, which I guess would have, now that I'm thinking about it a little bit better, might have been the correct play. It's all good though. We Dark Pulse. We Rock Pawn. We double down this Armor Rouge right now. We Rock Terra Rock Pawn right away. That way, even if it does Terrastalize, this is still maximum damage output that I could possibly do this turn. And I also force the, the Ndidi onto a Follow Me. Now, the other thing that could go wrong is maybe Protect from the Armor Rouge and then the Trick Room from the Ndidi because I just rotated targets up a little bit there. This is my terrestrialization, which I guess makes sense. I should be going first. All right, Rock Pond, show them why you're superior. The cornerstone of VGC. Did my opponent throw? I think my opponent just threw. What spread move did you think I was going to go for? Okay. Oh, it lived. Flinch. Okay. <laughs> nice. That's great for us, honestly. I, I, I We got a little lucky there. That wide guard was a little... Eh. But, hey, we we take those. Like, why wouldn't we take those? Oh, ironically, I think an overheat is my highest damage output against the Torkoal. I'm just going to Ivy Cudgel and finish off this Ndidi. Battle was canceled, yeah. I mean, I get it. I get it. I'll take that, but I'll get I I get it. GG's, Alex. Another Ndidi Armor Rouge. Great. Not really. Um, And also, Ogre Pawn? Fascinating. I think I'm instead of making the same mistake as last time, because I shouldn't have gotten away with that last time, and I'm fully aware of that. I'm gonna go with the fish and the flutter. I would love to bring my own torque, and no, I will bring my own torque. Why not? Then, last but not least, like I want, I want to bring cornerstone because they got one, two, three fire types on their side of the field. How about this? Maybe I don't bring Torgal, I bring Cornerstone and and Greg in the back. I think my goal here has to be to prevent Trick Room at all costs. Which seems feasible. It doesn't seem impossible. Definitely possible. So the thing is, they're gonna look at my team, they're gonna expect me to just try to out damage them to stop Trick Room. I'm just gonna click Trick Room to stop Trick Room. I can undo it. Now, if they decide to like all in me, it's a little problematic. And this is a little bit of a, this is why this is kind of a best of 1A team, because you have that option of catching your opponent off guard. It's a, it's a little bit close team sheets, and it's really good for ladder for that reason. What is this lead? Okay, well against this, I just, Dazzling Gleam Heat Wave, right? I don't even have D-Gleam. Believe me or not, I'm gonna ignore the Ogre Pun. And double the DD. Because again, like I said before, my goal this game has to be to stop Trick Room. 
They're gonna grass tear the pawn. I have Sash, so that's okay, I think. They're gonna be a little faster now. They superpower my fish. Oh. Well, there's no way they trick him now. The superpower, though, that's a little yikes. They hit me with the psychic. They also outsped my Flutterman. That's wild. Oh, I think I just lost, like, right away. I, I needed to trick room turn one is what I needed to do. All right, let's hard swap into our old Greg. Let's see if our opponent gives us an opening here. I just go for the Ivy Cudgel back into their side of the field. Rock Ivy Cudgel into the Grass Pond doesn't feel like a great time. But keep in mind that their defense got lowered, and so did their speed. Or is it their attack? Yeah, they went for a superpower, so they their defense and their attack just got lowered. And we're about to get a defense boost right here too, so... It's all good. It should all be fine. My poor fish. My poor fish didn't deserve that. There's no way they went for a superpower on the bonnet spot, and even if they did, I'm um, booster energy, boosted defense. All right, here's my terrestrialization. Listen, I got one too. I also have the ogre pond, and if you click trick room against me right now, be my guest. I think in theory we speed tie right now. Because he got the plus one and then he just lost it. Okay, he outsped me. That's not great. Oh, thankfully it is into my uh, Amoongus though. Look at that. Not Amoongus, Brubonnet, sorry. As they psychic my Brubonnet too. The world's greatest switch right there. Enjoy this Ivy Cudgel, you negative one. Negative one defense. Get out of here. Bop. Try that on someone else. Not me. I felt good. Straight one shot, knocking out their Terra. Um, problem is I can't sucker punch with this Ndidi on the field. Which isn't like the end of the world, but does kind of suck that Psychic Terrain is on the field. We can just Bullet Seed and get rid of it though. I don't know what the Ndidi's goal or purpose is. It's just gone for Psychic so far. It almost makes me feel like th this is not a, uh, a Trick Room team, but it's disguised as one. All right, well, clearly my opponent is weighing their options here. Sending out the fish, okay. Um. Am I sacking off my flutter main? I might be. Yeah, I think I'm sacking off flutter main. Let's attempt the ivy cudgel into the fish. We'll see if they let us. Either they have to follow me, or they have to trick room. They have to do something. They gotta weigh their options. Because as it stands, I, I have a lot of momentum going for me. I could be throwing this if they do click follow me, though. Or if they're scarfed. If they could, you know, be scarfed and outspeed me. Alright, bringing out the Cloud Watcher again. Sorry, Fluttermane. Fluttermane doesn't want to be here right now. No, they're just going for Psychic. What are the odds they're lo Oh, they're scarfed there! That's how they're outspeeding everything! They're scarfed in Didi?
Okay. So B Bonnet just wins the game. Is what that means. I just double attack into whatever the side slot is, and Bonnet can win the game on its own later. Because he's scarfed and locked onto scarfed. For the rest of the game. I, I don't know why I didn't click in my head. See, since I'm a trick room in the, since I'm a trick room flutter, I was like, oh, I'm probably just a tanky flutter. Then it just clicked in my brain. Wait, Kevin, you're sashed. Why would you be tanky? Brother, scarf this whole time. <laughs> Scarfed max speed psychic DD. When you thought you've seen it all. And they have crests. Who has a Psychic Seed boosted special defense boost. Yike. So I should set Trick Room is what you're saying. I'm going to go for... I have to go for the double up into the crest. I could protect. Predicting the attack to go there. But I could also just double attack into Crest. One of the two attacks have to go into the Crest, and the Crest can't go for pretty much anything right now. Can't go. It, it can only go for Trick Room. But yeah, and Didi's gonna get the Psychic One guy. Can't do much about it. And the Psychic Seed is a little annoying. All right, I, I wanted to Spiky Shield that spot so bad, but I didn't do it. I thought about it though. I really wanted to. It's all good. I got the free Shadow Ball into the Crest. Again, Crest might decide to trick room, but that, that doesn't do it any favors, I don't think. Decent enough damage. We'll take it. And now they Psychic. Okay. Are they also just going to go for Psy Spam? All right, let's get the Bonnet on the field now. I have options. I think my option currently is going to be to Shadow Ball again and a Rage Powder because I can. I hope they don't have like Ice Beam on that crest though because that might be bad for us. If the only attacking move is Psychic, that's just hilarious. That's just, that's just your comeuppance, you know? That <laughs> that's what you deserve to run <laughs> Scarfed and Didi. I'm laughing because I'm laughing not because I think it's bad, but because I think it's like Loki not horrible and almost did win them the game with how much damage it can do. All right. Psychic, come over here now to my dark type. Thank you. Shadow Ball again. I'm not doing much damage with Shadow Ball, but it's doing some damage. Yes! I think they might only have Psychic here. And the terrain disappears. Let's just keep doing that over and over again. I could have also suckered there, but it's fine. I, I have to outspeed the Ndidi eventually. No, what if the... <laughs> what if the Cress is spexed onto it now? I'd believe anything at this point. Oh no, it was Psychic Seed. We did see Psychic Seed. Never mind. <laughs> My opponent is really, like, extending these turns to the point where I think they might have AFK'd. Hello? You only have one play. Alright, there it is. Rage Powder again. Psychic again, because they have to. Shadow Ball into the crest. Decent damage, not enough to knock, unfortunately. And Psychic, they absolutely AFK'd. <laughs> I'm looking at it now, I think they absolutely AFK'd. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Trick Room. Go for the Sucker Punch. And hope that'll be the end of this turn, at least. Listen, I got all day. I don't mind at all. I'll take my dubs where I get them. Brew Bonnet's putting in work, man. Mm. 
No, either this is AFK or they're BMing me. Listen. Whatever. At least we got a good music while they're they're taking their sweet time. All right, goodbye. Get out of here. Oh, they actually just psychicked into the bonnet anyway. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> There you go. I'll shadow ball into my bonnet and then go for a bullet seed. Just so we see a different animation, you know? Don't get me wrong, I understand um, forfeiting when, when the game is over. But just leaving your controller on the table and walking away, like, why are you doing that to me? Why are you making us both do this? Both sit through this? And they eventually canceled anyway. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. I'd say GG's. Nah. On to the next. Add a Pepe over here with the hard trick room team. Is it hard? Is it a hard trick room team? Maybe not really. Tell you what, though. Chiu Flutter goes pretty hard here. Very decent matchup for me right away. Bring the bot in the back. Bring the B in the B. And just in case they do set up Trick Room against me, I, I could just bring Torgal. Cornerstone Ogre Pond also wouldn't be horrible as well. But I think I think Torkoal is the play. Honestly, I have so many good options, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Torkoal here. Having a Rocky Helmet to break Sash is gonna be really nice too. But yeah, it's Chiu Flutter all the way. And try to stop their Trick Room, no matter what they decide to lead it off with. Um, I think the only thing that we can really do is maybe just smack them with the Dark Pulse. Maybe try to go for the flinches here. Oh, they don't even go for the Trick Room at all. Fascinating. Um, I could Ghost Terra right here. Yeah, Ghost Terra Heat Wave. Or even just Protect. And Trick Room. I don't hate this. I'm gonna set up Trick Room again. I'm setting up Trick Room against the Trick Room team, folks. This is what this is what my life has become now. They're gonna terrestrialize the Dragonite into Flying Terra D Knight. Ooh, that feels bad. I feel like I haven't seen this in a billion years. All right. That's unfortunate. Well, I hope they went for the other side of the field and didn't double up my trick room setter right now hang on with sash yes good 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 well we got the trick room up we did it um still though i'm i'm not in a great spot my chew can maybe still do something but i'm just gonna fire off a heat wave And I think I accept death here with the, the Flutterman. Just to allow me to put myself in a better situation later. With my... My Brute Bonnet. Unfortunately, the Dragonite should be going first in this. Maybe. They withdraw the Ogre Pawn, actually. Okay. Into the Blurse. Okay. And Terra Blast again. Yeah, onto the Chiyu this time. We'll knock out the Chiyu. But I get the free Moon Blast. A 
Also, if they were multi-scale, we just broke it. Yep, it's Torkoal time, baby. Let's go. Now we Torkoal. Are we Fire Terror Torkoal? If we are, that's great. Yeah, erupt. And just in case somehow I live this turn, might as well go for the Moonblast here. There's not a single Pokemon on their side of the field that wants to take an eruption right now. We brought the Trick Room 2. Now if I had you on the field still, that would have been really, really good. But hey, it is what it is. I needed to keep my Torkoal as healthy as possible. Now please don't switch over to E-Speed. Okay. I would much rather have you do that than click Blood Moon on Torkoal. Yeah, Eruption now. Curse Splat. Kerplunk, okay. Fine. <laughs> the Vacuum Wave, though. I would much rather have you do that than click Blood Moon on Torkoal. Unless, they must have not been confident they were living that. That's the only reason I could see that making sense there. All right, Arcanine's coming out. You're just going to bed. <laughs> Anything and everything that scares me a little is going to sleep. Antimate sucks for our bonnet, but it's all good. We get the Protosynthesis boosts here. And a little bit more defense. Erupt again. And you, my friend. Good night. <laughs> oh, I love Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet's doing so much work today already. Not going to do a lot of damage onto the Arcanine, but doesn't matter. I'm surprised they didn't go for a vacuum wave that time. Whatever. I'm also surprised that they didn't eat e speed that time, but also whatever. I shall not question. I will only hit attacks. Specifically, sp specifically two attacks. I wonder if Bullet Seed is enough to like uh, chip down this Arcanine. All right, let's erupt. Let's Bullet Seed the Arcanine here. If they follow me, they follow me. They don't follow me. They don't even Spiky Shield actually. They're having a lot of faith in their Ogre Pond to live that. Nope, not today. Torkoal single-handedly cleaned the field. We got the Trick Room up and we clean. We out Trick Room the Trick Room team. Oh, actually, I don't act. I don't do damage. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I just realized I'm also not loaded dice, so I should be a little afraid. But somehow my Kevin Luck still gave me four, and they wake up, and they rock slide. I live, but Dimensions return to normal. Uh. Um, down to the last two. Yes, I am. Earth power and spore again. Actually, no, I should sucker punch. What am I doing? Yeah, just sucker punch here. Yeah, nice try, but no. <laughs> I still have priority. I'm still Bonnet. And honestly, Bonnet getting the final KO of today's video, that feels pretty good. Bonnet earned it. Bonnet deserves it. Bonnet, formerly known as Greg. GG's. Anyway, thank you so much, INFB underscore poke on Twitter for posting this team there. I think it's honestly such a strong team. And listen, four wins in a row without any little hiccups in there. That feels really good. A nice little uh, ladder booster, if you ask me. Make sure to check out this team, especially if you like seeing Brute Bonnet and you like playing Brute Bonnet on, on, on the ranked ladder. Go ahead and check out the team. Also, make sure to check out INFP underscore poke on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way all the way to the very end of the video. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for all the support that you've given Poke Sports for the last uh, three years, four years. Uh, I've been doing this for way too long. Anyway, I'm Kevin. This is Poke Sports. Have yourselves a fantastic evening. Peace out. Bye bye.